We're here to take a look at our project that's uh, spaghetti trigonometry and these are the materials that you are going to need. We're going to need spaghetti, we're going to need a yarn, some type of string, masking tape or just regular scotch tape. We have scissors, different color markers, we have our roller, our two half circles, and then one long sheet of paper. Now that you guys have your materials, this is what you're going to have to do. Now that you're in your groups, you have your materials, um, your teacher will tell you which graph you're going to do. What you then will be doing is you're going to tape your two circles together like this. Then you're going to put your string around the circumference of the circle like this. You are going to mark your circle at every 15 degrees like this. And once you've done that all the way around the circle, then we're going to take our ruler and make a y-axis. <coughs> Make sure that's very close to the edge of your paper and draw your y-axis in. Then we are going to take the ruler, draw a perpendicular line, make this really long. I think it has to be just over 42 inches. And then we want you to lay the string down like this and where you've marked your string, you want to make a little mark on your x-axis, like this. After that, we're going to go back to our unit circle that we've taped together, and I'll do the first one for you. We're going to do pi over 12, and that is 15 degrees. And those people that have the first graph, I want you to take every piece of the, the vertical spaghetti, you're going to make a triangle, and you're going to save all these vertical pieces and tape them down in order, one by one. Now look here, I've done pi over 12 for you. As you continue this graph, you're going to get to 19 pi over 12. And notice this vertical piece is in the fourth quadrant, so it is negative. So look at the way I'm putting this under my x axis because it is negative. And again, continue this all the way till you've gone completely one revolution around the circle. Tape all your spaghetti vertical pieces down. Those people that have the other graph, you're going to be using not the vertical pieces of your triangle, you're going to be using the horizontal pieces of the triangle. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this little project. I hope you made some discoveries and check out the other groups, see how they're doing. Also, we're here to make math easy. Thanks and have a great day.